All right. Say hi. Hello. Welcome back. It's been a minute. Has it been a minute? It has been a minute. Are you excited? Um, yeah. I mean, not for all the work that has to be done, but yeah. So, you heard it here. We're back in the shop. Um, we have a lot to do. This is how the car looks right now. We have to take the front suspension off. We have some spring cups to put in the front end. Center link, idler arm. Pretty minor, simple stuff. And then we'll work our way to the back of the car where we have to put the J-bar in, trailing arms. I got a bunch of parts from SSR. Long story short, this sh this thing should be a roller by the, by the end of today. Um, if not, for sure by Monday. And then we're gonna drop the motor in, get this thing running, um, hopefully round up some sponsors to finish the rest of the car here. If not, we'll just be out as we piece this thing back together. So that's the plan for now. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. So yeah, we got parts and uh, we're gonna be working extra hard today or Amber's gonna be hardly working in this filming. We got chains. The only thing that we do not have that we really absolutely need is I need my steering column for my seat, my cockpit, so I can drive this thing. Other than that, we have just about everything besides the body and I guess the carbon fiber drive shaft. Those are the two main pieces that we're missing to make this thing go. Um, other than that, we have everything now and it's just gonna be about putting the time in and making sure it's right. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, we'd have a practice session or five or whatever, make sure everything is dialed in right. We don't have that this year. So we're putting a whole new car together and hopefully we do it right the first time so we don't have anything that falls off. So yeah, we're gonna get started with that and, and um, maybe later we'll talk about maybe our plans to maybe raise some money for our, our program um, with some other things so stay tuned for that so we're putting the center link in Marcus is working on the back stuff um, I figured that we should probably just do this the right way and put everything in here that's new and there was nothing wrong with our old center link but when dad and I were taking the car apart at SSR this winter um, we had a tough time getting the center link out and we screwed up one of the th thread ends and rather than again just piecing stuff together not right I just would rather do it right so and we'll have to go for the old car or the older style of gold yeah we could that Yeah, because we don't even have that option. Do you have any other book, Amber? Yep. I just asked for all the hardware, so. Here's what we have. You want me to pick it up so it's just hanging on this? Here. No, it's fine. There you go. You sure? It'll give you more room. You good with this side? Yeah, this side should be good. I haven't set that yet. I wanted to get the bolt change on before we set it. Yep, no, I get it. But. All right, guys, we're going to put the mid plate in. We can keep hanging away at this thing. If I can get myself in here. Oh, when they have everything.
shouldn't have been that labor intensive, but it's in where it belongs. I say again, come towards me. I don't understand why. You want that pry bar? What you doing? Putting some anise seeds on this J bar so it doesn't seize up on us. You know, if you want to make an adjustment, it's a lot easier to make that adjustment and put anise seeds on stuff than if you could just take it and stick it in the aluminum in the metal rod. So. So obviously the J bar on the bottom here is the J bar, this J bar right here, which again, for some people that don't follow racing, so it holds the rear end in the car. We're just taking it out. Um, one, to check it, and we found out that it's straight. The other thing is, is this heim, which goes on the chassis side. Um, I guess it's all on the chassis stuff, but for no, it's not. This is on the rear end, this is on the chassis, this heim is bad. So um, there's a little bit of play in it. So we're gonna take this off and use it as a spare. We'll re replace this heim end here, and this will be as our spare J-bar. Um, Nothing wrong with it, obviously, but we have a new one. We'll just put the new one in, get it as close as we can get it, and then put it in the car. So I think it's pretty close. we got to do a final measurement. Once we do that, then we'll lock everything down and put it in the car. And it looks like we only have to put the J-bar in, the pole bar in, um, and then obviously the left, whoops, the left rear chain. So we're making progress today. We're going to get the sliders freshened up. Sometime this week, and then literally the back end will Working on. Busy. Trying to figure out the spacers. We'll, when you get space in the holes, so we have to have it. Is that where you have it all? All right, everyone, as you guys can see, we made some progress. I wouldn't say we made a lot of progress, but I felt like we made a lot of progress. We were up here for I think it was like five and a half, six hours, something like that. Uh, ran into some difficulty putting the motor in. As you can see, we have the motor sitting right here, so ready to go back in. Um, we got the mid plate, but I think we got the wrong mid plate because when we went to put it all in, um, we just couldn't get everything to line up the proper way, and um, our motor mounts were off by like a half an inch. And we tried to flip the motor mount or the mid plate back around. It didn't make any difference. It actually made it worse. So we got a whole SSR. We're gonna get the actual mid plate we're supposed to have um, for the motor in the car so we can put the motor in, drop the motor in this weekend, hopefully get the steering column for the steering box all the way to the cockpit and then fin finish up some wiring things and, and get this thing running. So we're getting closer. Um, I know it's, Today's uh, Tuesday, June 25th, and um, almost July, and we still haven't hit the racetrack yet. And it's a little disappointing, but at the same point in time, like I've talked about before, um, you know, this year's a little bit different. We have a business, and and unfortunately, some other things have to come first, and, and that's just the way of it. So um, we, we're still looking for help. If you know anyone, great, send them our way. If not, I've had a lot of people reach out and kind of ask, you know, hey, what can we do? Um, we don't have enough money to, you know, sponsor you, but we're hoping to help in other ways. Um, with our top shelf business, we can do hats. And so kind of like this hat right here, I mind my hair, but uh, we'll take a hat and we'll put our number on it. And it's a patch. So, well, we're gonna do two or three different uh, hat combinations and uh, they're gonna be thirty dollars a piece this will help us out hugely um so yeah if you're interested send us a message on facebook send us a message on youtube um send a, you know comment below uh they're not i'm not gonna have one size fits or let me take that back we're gonna have richardson 112s young hats 
and then another brand called Cobra. So uh, $30 is what the price is going to be on those. That's going to help us out a lot. Um, if you want to support us, and it's a cheap version uh, of supporting us, but we would greatly appreciate it. Um, it's going to help us get going here and, and get a body on this thing and, and hopefully see you at a racetrack near you. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this week's video. As always, be sure to like this video, share with your friends and family, comment below. Again, please help us out by buying a hat, telling your friends and family about it. As many hats as we can sell, the quicker we can get this thing done and we can get out and start racing. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and God bless and take care.